This little car is like going back in time and going to the showroom floor in 1965 and buying a brand new Mustang. Everything on this car is either new or restored, and it's just a blast. It's gorgeous to look at, fun to talk about, fun to drive. People love it. Classic American iron. This is one of the uh, most followed and beloved of all classics, the GT Mustang. This is the first year for the GT, and this is an early GT. It's an April car. It's a real GT. Everything on it checks out if you know how to check these cars out. This is the real deal, and it's a high option car. One little upgrade is the AM FM modern day radio. In addition to the cool AM FM radio, this car is a tack and gauge car. It's got the rally pack. It's got the full gauges, of course. It's a GT car. Has the full console also, a very rare piece. You rarely ever see that. And of course, it's a four speed disc brake, full GT package style steel wheels just absolutely loaded it has the beautiful two-tone pony interior the ivy gold light ivy gold and white very quick little car just absolutely hops to it when you get on it 289 this is really one of the most famous motors ever put out it's one of ford's absolutely huge success stories they're just bulletproof little motors. This has its original 289, its original four barrel carburetor, original heads, original intake, original exhaust manifold. Just a totally original little car. Very hard to find like this. And th I want you to hear this radio. This is a modern day stereo radio with a modern day stereo speaker. It's an MP3 uh, compatible. And there is actually a wire here in the dash for your MP3 hookup. Radio's got great sound. Tender love is blind. It requires a dedication. That's super nice. Temperature gauge works. Car does not run hot at all. Amp meter works. Car's charging. You've got great oil pressure. Gas gauge works. Speedometer showing 42,551 miles at the time of this video. Uh, could be 142. Um, of course, it's restored. It has less than a thousand miles since its total restoration. Tachometer works. We're sitting here revving. It uh, looks like 700 RPM. Um, clock is working. I don't know if it works accurately. Uh, the battery's been disconnected and connected a few times, so maybe it works accurately, but it is working. You can see the second hand running. So it's a fully functioning car.